Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 13. And yep, snow is still digging away. Poor bugger. Now you wouldn't have think it would have made more sense to find something a little flatter, kind of scoopier. I don't exactly know what he's trying to achieve with a tiny metal point there. You know you guys have got guns, right? <laughs> Why do they wait so long to shoot? Oh, whiff that one, Snow. Well done. Okay, they only take two hits. There we go. One, two... These guys still two? Yep. Yeah, you. Two hits? No, you guys take a bit more. Okay. Might as well go the full three then. Two, three. Oh, that's five hits. Oh, I might actually have to heal. Where are I? Snow's got a ton of health. Comes the first of our idolons. Our idolons? No, idolons. Pretty sure that's how they pronounce them. Shiva. going to go through the tutorial here. Um, basically the Eidolons um, show up when the Lissi are in distress and basically either force them to um, come out of their funk, so to speak, by beating them senseless or um, kill them one way or another. Um, but the idea is is that they will, you, you build up, you see that gestalt meter there, that builds up as you uh, use your roles, basically. And usually they respond best to uh, whatever your uh, primary role is. So I believe we switch to Sentinel and we start covering. That should, I believe guarding their attacks builds it up quickest. Yeah, see there? That did it a whole lot. Now, let's just switch to Rabbit for a second. Let's see what the difference is. So she's going to keep healing me. Yeah, that doesn't do much. Commando, I think I'm best just blocking, but we'll test the other ones just in case. Yeah, that really doesn't do anything. Let's just stick with the set, I don't know. 
Yeah. Not going to be the most interesting fight to partake in or watch. But yeah, we keep blocking her attacks and hopefully that should build up a Gestalt quick enough. Come on, then. Go on, do your big attacks. Oh, there's the charge. Hold on. Let's uh, break out of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go now. It's not building up very fast. It should be alternating between Commando and Sentinel. Yeah, let's let's try that. Let's Commando, and then we'll Sentinel when she does her big build up. I think that's the general idea. Right, now we Sentinel. Guard. Ah, shoot! Wasn't quick enough. Was not quick enough. Okay, try it again. Yeah, so that is building it a little. I think that's the idea. It's been so long since I did this. Okay, pull off one ruin. Switch to Sentinel. Guard now. There we go. There we go. Got it. Yeah, that's the idea. This has been a long time since I played the start of this game. And then we get our Gestalt mode. So that's the deal with the summons in this game. They sort of alternate between the humanoid form and like a vehicular form. So yeah, they're like a summonable Transformers. No CP for that, but we unlock Shiva and an extra ATB segment. And then we're going to take a little nap. The twin sisters. I gotta hand it to you for taking him down. But don't gloat just yet. Might come a time you wish you'd let him end it. And made things easy. Huh. More of you, huh? He's a lessee. Take him. Back off. You want to keep breathing? Shut up and come quiet. Night, night. Bring her this way! Careful now! Come on! This 
still on us? Moments ago, the Sanctum announced the successful conclusion of the Purge, along with the safe arrival of the Cocoon Migrants to their new homes on Pulse. <laughs> yes, that is correct. There's no denying the enormity of the strain the Purge placed on us all. But given the tens of millions of lives at stake, there truly was no alternative. Primarch Disley stood by the move, stressing the necessity of the relocation. When asked about the possibility of future purges, the Primarch remained non-committal, stating only that he would seek counsel with the Falci Eden and weigh all <sighs> options before making a decision. Yeah, that's right. If it makes the Sanctum look bad, it never even happened. In all the centuries since the War of Transgression, Cocoon has been spared pulse aggression and prospered for it. It is essential that we maintain this peace. That is the Sanctum's focus. We will continue employing every resource available to combat these threats to the harmony of our society. Meaning, we'll be running for the rest of our lives. Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, who is this guy? <sighs> I mean, what do they teach kids these days? He's Gallant Disley, the Sanctum Primarch. Murderer in chief. According to our Insta Just poll, another nearly tool 90% of the, of the Cocoon C. citizens agree with the Sanctum's handling of the purge. 70% of respondents said they would also support additional purges were the need to arise. <sighs> Let's purge everybody. That'll fix it. Oh, hey. Points for perseverance. A sight to foul sea up close and personal. Cocoon's own light in the sky. Oof. And yeah, that's probably the biggest dump of cutscenes we're going to get for a little while. <laughs> so yes, that's uh, that's Eden. That's Cocoon's main fallacy. It basically functions as the sun, uh, as well as providing energy and um, general advice and running of the planet and whatnot. And Disley as well, properly in the flesh. With his uh, deliciously evil honey dulcet tones. Hey. Oh. Hey, wake up! You gotta wake up! Uh, Look! 
Yeah, guys, I've been in panic. I'm pretty sure Lightning can take him on her own. Like, one of the easiest enemies in the game. Was that four of them? Yeah, let's, let's see how long this takes. Gone. 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 Yeah. So the, the panic seemed a little unnecessary, guys. Soldiers, we don't have your kind of stamina. You got enough to complain. Oh, that's you, forget it. Um, I think um, I don't think human legs do that in real I'd life, Anil. Her if I were you. Later then. going to where exactly the whole of cocoons against us no matter how far we run there's no escape that seath clock it's still a ticket there's still time you give up too easy old man i'm not giving up there's some things that you just can't change a kid like you would not understand yeah, I'm a kid. I don't understand. <laughs> well, I guess we can be fugitives together. Oh, oh. You ready? Ready! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> hey, hey. Now, time for some sick beats. Ah, uh, love it. One of my favorite area themes, this one. How's our CP going? Mysteriums have expanded. Here we go, Synergist. This is what we want. As soon as you get Synergist. I mean, really with anyone, but especially with Sars, because he gets haste. You really want to be pumping that up. Saboteur as well. Buffs and debuffs are stupid powerful in this game. There you go. Wants us to go that way. Is it going to let us go over here? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, there it goes. And we're stuck. But at least it's not the end of the line. Oh. Oh, flashback time. on fireworks were you <laughs> and you call yourself a soldier ah. sorry lieutenant 
<laughs> but I really don't think guard duty is my calling, sir. Well, lucky for you, your shift just ended. Pack it up and go home. But, sir... Sidecom found something in the vestige nearby. They don't want the Guardian Corps here stepping on their toes. <laughs> I'm sure you heard about the accident at the Uriday Gorge Energy Plant and how it has the Sidecom lads in a tizzy. Yeah. More incident than accident. Something pulse-related. <laughs> You're taking tomorrow off? <sighs> sir, for my birthday, sir. My sister, she insisted on it. <laughs> 21, huh? I love how like, Lightning's acting so much here. <laughs> send off that letter of recommendation for officer training. A bit of awkwardness from her. You're past due for a promotion, Farrah. Think of your sister, and your future, and, uh, keep your nose out of trouble. Out of Psycom business, you mean? Yeah. Nothing good will come of it. Nothing but grief. No, he wasn't oh, wrong. Look at that one. <laughs> whoa, whoa, ho! How right you were, Lieutenant. Just you? For now, I guess. Should we wait? They'll catch up, eventually. Alrighty, let's get these guys kitted out. We're gonna be in control of these two for a bit now. Uh, let's make sure we've just got all of this down. Yes, how much to level? That's 90 heading towards Spark Strike. Faults. Siphon. Let's go Ravager first. She's going to be Commando for a bit, but getting Spark Strike and Aqua Strike are probably the most important thing first. I usually prioritise Ravager skills just because they're more useful than Commando ones normally. So again, let's focus Synergist. Get Shell. We got any... No, that's just a general boost. Okay, let's go Ravager then. What have you got up here? Arrow. Okay. Do that. And you can check underneath there what you're going to unlock as well. I always forget that you can actually do that. Okay, ah, Paradigms. What have we got? Commando Ravager, Commando Synergist, Commando Medic. Ravager, Ravager. Let's move that one up. We should be right. Oh, look at you hiding around the corner. You're a little bit on the tougher side. Just stay out of my way. worthwhile. Libroscope. Always useful for boss fights if nothing else. Okay, drop a save here. We'll keep going for now. How long's that been? I'll check the clock. About 20 minutes. Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. We'll see how far we can get. Yeah, it's some of the bigger groups here. Let's show off how this synergist stuff works. 
So these guys don't use magic, so hopefully get he'll prioritize protect there. That's fine. Now the AI is usually pretty good with the synergous roles. Sometimes they'll overbuff, like they'll focus on one character first. Um, if you haven't scanned the enemy and the AI doesn't know whether it's going to use physical or magic attacks, um, it'll be a bit random with its buffing. So it's well worth, again, scanning the enemies, especially later on. This early, it's uh, not overly stressed. But most of these battles I shouldn't even really need buffs for. Haste is the most important one. Okay, here, here we're going to super soldier up. Just right away. And protect and shell because I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, they're lightning based, so shells should protect against that. Shell hope, come on. Okay, we need a medic now because that is going to hurt. Uh, at least I got rid of one of them. Oh, that was an insta kill. Whoo! I can't stop now. Okay. All right. Even with shell and protect, I can't take it. Ooh. Damn. Okay. All right. No change of strategy. We focus on dropping them before they attack us. Oh boy. There you go. I did not know that. If we can do at least drop two of them. Before switching to medic. Yikes. Like I said, hate these guys. Oh Christ, there goes the electric hit. Yeah, look at that. Ready, dead, done. Woo! Okay, let's super soldier now. That's crazy. So that's pure luck there. Wow. These guys suck. Especially without um, the Sentinel to draw their fire. Okay, again, let's just war and peace here. Hope we get lucky. Hope might be able to take one. All right, yeah, that was okay. That wasn't so Just bad. Slash and burn. Oh, there you go. Second death of the run. Who's keeping count? Honestly surprised I hadn't got killed off by a drone yet anyway. Those things are a pain. Hate them. Might be worth dropping the old fort assault. Ah! <laughs> I didn't think they'd see me from there. Shoot, no, drones first. Alright, looks like they're splitting their attention. Don't focus on me. Yeah, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yeah, oh, please tell me that's enough. Ouch. Get a protect if nothing else. I'm not sure how much damage that electric hit, whether it's just magic or just physical, but we'll at least get protect from the effects are on. Yeah, it's tough with just two. A lot of this next part of the game you are kind of locked into these two-person teams. Does make these battles take a lot longer. I get this part for story reasons, I really do, but it's it's kind of mean that they tease you with the three-person team for just that little bit, just so you start getting used to it, and then they're like, yoink! Two-person now. If the combat was just a little quicker, it probably wouldn't be so bad. What is that? Oh, I'm gonna get behind you. Was that, did that count? 
Yes. Uh, here we got some of these pulse soldiers. Now most of these pulse ones are only um, only take damage. Well, only take any decent amount of damage when they're staggered. It exposes their cores or whatever because they're all robots. So if you can sneak up on them, very worthwhile. Let's get it straight into a stagger. Oops. Wrong button. There we go. Yeah, pretty easy to deal with one or two of them at a time. But again, especially without a sentinel, they are very dangerous in groups because they do a lot of damage and you can't hurt them much until you stagger them. is Psycom's baby. Our military is split into two arms. The Public Security and Intelligence Command, known as Psycom. Yeah, there you go, that's Guardian what that stands for. I was Guardian Corps, Bodum Security Regiment. Wait, but I don't get it. If you're not Psycom, then why did you board the train? For Sarah. Attention purge deportees. Follow instructions and stay in your lines. Personal belongings will be returned upon arrival. under Psycom direction. So direct me. Let me on. I want to be purged. Uh, only civs get purged. Sanctum staff and soldiers are exempt. Huh? Then I quit. Uh, line up! Excuse me. Hey, lady. What gives? I volunteered. Really? <laughs> you don't look ready to go quiet into that good night. You want quiet? You better take the next train. <laughs> uh, well, now I really want to see what you're up to. No. Oh, love at first sight. I had to rescue Sarah before they transported the vestige to Pulse and out of my reach. My only chance to save her was to join the purge. Then we all know how that worked out. You're telling me you got on that train so you could save your sister? <laughs> That's crazy. I could never do something like that. It's not a question of can or can't. There are some things in life you just do. Easy for someone like you to say. Lightning coming in with the Yoda quotes there. Lightning! She left me. One, two, three. Ah, we go. Hmm. <laughs> what are you up to? Hey. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait up. Ah, 
Can't keep up with this girl. Yes, we uh we we know how um Oh yes, the three way battles. Yeah, we'll uh we'll talk about them. Alright, um I'm gonna level level these guys up. How's Synodus looking? We're alright, let's aim for vigilance. Yeah, we're gonna level these guys up and then um Anything to unlock there? I haven't got anything to. Let's go, Ravenger. And then we're gonna um actually. Oh no, we did. There we go. And then we're gonna wrap things up here. I get a little shorter episode today, but um we're just about to hit a huge slog with these guys. So I think that this is the best spot to stop for now. Thank you so much for watching. I've been really appreciating the support. I did, honestly wasn't even sure if this would get even one or two views. So the fact that every episode so far has done at least double digits is, um, that's really impressive. And uh, look, I'm going to keep this going whether it gets one view or a million views because I love this game so much and the other games and I'm playing them anyway. So, you know, why not make something fun out of it? Anyway, uh, should have the next part up after this one sometime during the week. At the very least, these are definitely going to be on the weekends, and I will try to keep that up even during work and um, sort of scatter the music ones in between it. So, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, like most YouTubers, I think the vast majority of my views tend to come from people who aren't subscribed. Um, I know I've been guilty of that with other channels as well. But yeah, more music, more games, more everything. Thanks so much for tuning in and we will see you on the next episode.